I thought I'd probably run dry and had writer's block, but actually as soon as you sort of said, right, I need this, you know, here's a list of things, um, you gave me a script, which I read thoroughly several times, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and it was ace. It was so good because um, there, there was something about just doing bits of music for like 30 seconds or a minute or something that meant there was less of a formality maybe or less of, um, you know, less planning than you would do a song, you know, so, so it's got to be a pop song, it's got to be three and a half minutes, whereas it was just, you know, I could just do whatever. You'd give me a few description words, you know, some, some adjectives maybe, you know, it's got to be creepy, it's got to be foreboding, it's sinister, or it's a fight scene. I think one of them was, it's a fight scene, and working to a brief, sort of, you know, it, it almost sounds like, you know, there's more restriction there, it's not the sky's the limit, actually, it's got to be this, um, I need you know, I needed this feeling. Um, th there was even to the point where you'd sort of, you'd put it, right, so there's a bar of this and then there's two bars of that. And it was brilliant, it was so good. I, I guess it was that working to a brief, you just sort of approach things differently to normal. There are a few themes um, throughout the, the, the piece. Um, some are happy accidents, so the main Union Jack theme, ding, 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 ding. Um, that just, just super simple, um, and I really like simple, catchy, memorable earworms. Um, and that was great, um, and that allowed me to to do it in lots of different um, styles. You know, so you could do it very quietly. You could do it on a toy piano. It's a bit creepy you know, quite ethereal. And you can do it very heavy. Quite often you'll have sort of like eight, 10 guitars. You'll have several different synths on there. There is a number of tracks that have got multiple drum kits on there. So, you know, you'll have like an acoustic kit, an electronic kit. You might have some sort of, you know, Latino bits in the background, maybe with some phaser and distortion on and what have you, you know, just to see what happens. Um, see if it works. I really like layering up. The Gavin theme um, was, it, it seemed to me he was basically losing his <laughs> but still in a very British, you know, <laughs> oh, this just isn't cricket. Imbecile. The more he starts losing his marbles, the more I'm not worrying about hitting the bum notes and, and sort of, and in the end I'm just playing the piano with my hands rather than with my fingers, you know, just so the music starts to lose the thread as as Gavin's losing the thread. I guess it was I was having such a good time doing it and I was so inspired and I had so many new toys at my disposal um, that I don't know what you're hearing is someone having a lovely time. Shh.